we are shopping for Elise's travel outfits because she is going to Korea. South Korea. Not North, <laughs> South. For those of you that don't know, you can't actually go to North Korea. <laughs> Hella cool. It's, it's kind of hard to get to North Korea, but she's going to South Korea and apparently it is freezing. I'm really jealous that I don't get to go. I was also actually invited by her mother, but I decided I wanted to see. So we came to Joe and the Juice for a quick coffee and a juice. Um, I have popped enough pills this morning to stand this music much longer. My coffee is now. It's good to go. Let's go, please. I'm developing a migraine. <laughs> Guys, so we're in Topshop, Oxford Circus, and picked up a bunch of stuff to try on. I'm only actually taking three things. So this jumper, the same one in green. You guys know what I am like with magic <laughs> shit. If I like something, I'll buy it in every color. And then I picked up another pair of khaki jeans. These are the smallest size from the petite section. That is my size for everyone wondering, because a lot of people like to ask me what size I wear. I tried on these pants, but they looked literally awful, horrendous, so big. And then this House of CB dress, it was like a blazer dress, it was actually really, really cute. I love how it's tailored. Unfortunately, my boobs are too big, like they just looked really vulgar in this dress. And then the waist was actually like way too big. Which is a shame, but it was like the perfect length, which is weird because I'm five foot and I've seen people taller than me in that dress. Okay, so we're in Zara and I made the stupidest mistake of wearing the most annoying outfit to try stuff on it. And first of all, I've already got a mark for my lipstick taking this cashmere jumper off. Just like emphasizing it's cashmere, so I have to give it a dry cleaning and I wanted to wear this tomorrow, like day after tomorrow. So stupid. And also, trainers and leather pants. Not a great idea, but I am buying this really cute jumper from Zara. It's like a really nice nautical print. Reminds me of St. Laurent. Face the main vibes. So, I'm gonna get it. Cute, oversized. Um, I tried that on, but it was horrendous. And these pants we're both getting a pair of these although they are quite large they're cute they have the what <gasps> ragged priests have a store we have to go so we're in fitrovia close soho. this isn't like soho soho fitrovia um soho area we just passed Carnaby Street. It's really two different areas. Whatever, this stays like merch. Okay, this is more Soho, yeah, to be fair. Um, we are going to Yaucha for lunch. I haven't walked down this area in a long time. End is a great store if you're a man. Oh, Elisa, do you want to go to Inko? It's a really good Japanese restaurant. Where? On the left. One So we just got to Yaucha, which is one of my favourite Asian restaurants in London. It was a few all over, but um, this is the Liverpool Street one, it's one of my favourite. Is it Liverpool Street? Yeah. Um, it's the, I think the biggest, one of my favourite. Really nice in the evening um, down in the city. This one's quite cute, it's in Soho. Not my favorite area, but this area honestly has the best food, ideally, I think. All well, the most options. For we it. Do it at like, oh, yeah. We just ordered some corn chung fun, which is my favorite dish. It's like a dumpling. No, it's not really a dumpling. It's like a. I used to call it slithery stuff when I was younger. Corn and stuff. We ordered pork and duck, pancakes, obviously, and waifu beef puffs. They do have venison puffs, but I'm not a huge fan of venison, so we didn't get the venison. And two strawberry vanilla iced tea. Those wondering what we drink. <laughs> So these are the Wagyu beef puffs. Supposed to be on a no carb diet. What? Nothing. Yummy. So this is the 
prawn chimpan. It is so good. Elise eats her duck pancakes with her hands. Ha <laughs> ha. Can you eat them with your? Can you eat that with your chopsticks? You're supposed to. I do. What? There you go. Yeah. Ever since I saw someone in Royal China do it, I was like, oh my god, I look like a gremlin eating with my hands. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> Thank you. So the duck arrived. Delicious. Not as good as uh, the Dorchester's China Tang, or actually, I'm not going to divulge my favorite restaurants in dark. This is my third pancake. I've had any. I ate this morning, to be honest. So, I'm having a Coke. So, if you come to London and you're looking for a strip club or a gay bar, or you just want good food, Soho is the place. My first time ever going to a club when I was 18 in London was um, a strip club. No, my first time ever going to a club it was a gay bar. Ever. My, it was Hannah's birthday, you as well. I don't know, Lise was living here so she'd been going out and um, yeah. You want to go out that much though. What? You want to go out that much. Yeah, rarely but you know. So we decided we would walk home and ow. we're walking like down the road where Tramp is and we're just like so confused because we've never actually been down this road in the during day. the day. Actually he even goes to Tramp though. Yeah, he even goes to Tramp anymore. <laughs> the furthest I've walked is from Harrods to Selfridges. Um, but yeah, we basically spent so much money today in, in like high street stores that we don't have enough money to like get home. So don't we're think that. People actually will be serious. <laughs> Why does no one get my humour, like my sarcasm? Yeah, I don't understand. Fun. Because that's some shit they would actually do in real life. Well, don't spend your money like that. It's just stupid. Don't buy a ten pound shirt. Ah! Pigeons. I don't like pigeons. I don't like birds. I don't want bird food. Guys, just look how big this park is. Why are we walking um, through the park? It's a nice day, to be fair. Great place for Insta pics. Although green isn't really, green is not good on Instagram. Yes. So we've just made it to Buckingham Palace. It's literally right in front of us. It's one of my favorite sites in London. When it's empty. <laughs> and when there's an event on. <laughs> Cause like, it's just so lovely. And this whole area, St. James, it's really cute. Babes, <laughs> let's yeah. go. Bye, Queen. Oh, God. I can't do that, Elise. Wait here. Ah. So we're leaving the palace grounds. I think that's all gold, like solid gold. I haven't had sunglasses on the whole day and I feel like I've just developed frown lines. The sun has been in my eyes. This is a great touristy vlog. We actually plan on going back to Cartier to buy stuff, but like we decided, no, just go for a walk instead. Um, Time to go home. Yay. Guys, so I bought Elise a basil plant yesterday. No! <laughs> Put some tissue in there and then we can water it because it doesn't look. Ah! Oh. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna head back to mine. Oh, what's going on with my hair? I'm gonna head back to mine. Um, it's like four o'clock now. I'm kind of tired. I have to actually upload this um, pancake day video because today is pancake day. No, we're not actually having pancakes because I'm on a no carb diet if I haven't already said that like 500 times today and yesterday. Hey guys, so I just got home and I've just been trying on my new stuff and sorting out my cupboard. As you can see, I'm wearing my new jumper from Zara. It's not super warm, but it is rather oversized and it looks cute, I like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna remove my makeup, go for a shower, 
and then edit tomorrow's video a pancake day video i hope you guys enjoyed that it was like a one-off but people are like oh my god you should vlog every day i really don't think we should our life is definitely not interesting enough for us to vlog every day and elise is going to be leaving me therefore i'm going to be at my house a lot more on my own <laughs> Let's see what happens i've also bad vlogged so by the time this goes up she will most likely be in dubai which is sad but that's it and if you're wondering what the sound of the background is i'm actually watching <laughs> my own video <laughs> i don't know if any other youtubers do that but like i definitely watch my own videos after i've uploaded them and before i've uploaded them just to, like make sure um like it's as if I've never even watched them before. <laughs> Mad, I know. But I am so tired. We walked so much today. It was mad. But let's see what we get up to tomorrow. But yeah. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying these new videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So guys, I've spent the entire day at Elise's. Just hanging out. And now it is time for us to depart and say goodbye. I'm actually kind of sad. I'm going to miss this bitch. So yeah, Elise is going to be going to Dubai. And I'm going to be staying here for a while. Bye. 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 Okay. Okay, look after my dog. Ugh, I'm heavy, bitch. See ya. So yeah, give him my love. Tell him I love him more than life. <laughs>